Excellent. 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 Yes. <laughs> All right, folks. All right, we're walking around at the Fire Expo 2021. Um, we did a live stream earlier, but we ran out of Wi-Fi when we got down here to the shooting range. So now we're going to walk through and just show you what is available here. So, all right, where's the sun? My face is in the sun a little bit. Yeah, that isn't going to help. Um, anyhow, we're going to show what's available and uh, uh, on the firing line so you can tell us you know, what things are interesting to you. And we'll come back and uh, check them out later. So please uh, leave a comment if you see something that interests you. So we already did some stuff with uh, the ladies here at Hi Biz. We're going to come back and shoot a video with them later uh, to go over specifically a few of the products that we're going to try to target when they don't have uh, people lined up wanting to see the product. So maybe before or after the show or whatever. But uh, all right, Grizzly Ears. Smart wireless earbuds. That sounds really compelling. I'm kind of anxious to talk to them. I think we're definitely going to come back and talk to them. See who we got at this bay. So this is a neat event here. It's the first time they have done the Fire Expo here at the Force Center in Immokalee, Florida. Gray Man Tactical, WMD Guns, and G Code. 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 They're going to be shooting here. Say hi to the staff. They're doing a great job. So being that this is a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all right, this is Mike's firearms. And we have down here what we believe to be, where is it? Clover Tech. Clover Tech, the target, all right? We're going to try not to shoot at him later, but we may have to because, uh, you know, because it's the target. All I'm right. not going to aim for him. You're not going to aim nope. for him? Nope. I'm going to do an interview with him tonight. <laughs> Yeah, once the range is closed, uh, we, we could probably go in there. There's no one shooting, but uh, we don't want to be irresponsible no, because we, we, we are responsible. Fold AR, How doing? the candy apparel, and uh, primary arms. So primary arms got a lot of neat stuff lately. We're going to come back and talk to them later. So, and Fold AR's got some neat stuff. We'll definitely check them out. Move it along here. So once again, you know, anything you see that looks interesting to you, please leave a comment and let us know. Sp give us specific questions to ask, or hey, shoot this gun and tell me what you think about it. Whatever, we will uh, we will try to accommodate you. Huh? Staccato. Like oh, it is. Yeah. What they used to be called? I'm blanking on what they used to be called. They changed their name like right before shot last year. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't either. I like saying staccato. Yeah. All right. They got some pretty fancy, fancy pistols there. So they're going to take people out here and give them a hands-on experience with them. So pretty, pretty cool stuff there. Staccato. They do a lot of kind of competition. Uh, TJ likes to call them bougie. Bougie. I think that's a fair yes. characterization. Some really neat stuff. We saw them at the Antares Alliance event before SHOT Show last year and uh, it actually missed their actual event. LMT Defense. We're going to be back here uh, tomorrow night. They have a night shoot at 6 o'clock. We're going to come do that and they're going to partner with our friends at AGM Global Vision who has uh, night vision and thermals and that kind of fun stuff. So we'll be here for that. We'll probably bring, uh, uh, bring a Humvee over for that and uh, see what kind of cool stuff we can get into. CAA again. There we go. Yep. It's the uh, sky. So let's go walk through here and <laughs> yep. just pan across them real quick. <laughs> Greetings. We were told you had unlimited ammo and we should come shoot lots uh, of it. That's not true, but we probably have more than most people it's here. It's not true. She lied to me. I can't believe that. I, I believe it. Okay. I'd lie to you too. Yeah. I deserved it, I'm sure. Oh my God. Yeah. All right, Sky. So they've got um, 
we got some budget firearms. They've got a new one in, that is uh, striker fired that we're going to shoot pretty soon. So uh, if you're interested in that, let me know what questions you have about it. We'll definitely uh, check it out. Knights of Armament, they're up at the booth. I saw Ash up there, which if you missed the earlier video, our uh, writer Toby at Mining Ridge Armory has a man crush on Ash. And uh, I try to do my best to point that out every, 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 every opportunity possible. Blue Force said they were going to do something with Knights today too. So. Really? Okay. So what do we got going on here? The Alamo. Excellent. We're going to have to check them out at some point. Let me know if you have any questions about them. The Alamo. Hope I don't forget them. Sorry, I hope I don't forget the Alamo. No, don't forget the Alamo. Yeah. All right. Let's take advantage. advantage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, and I, I appreciate the question. I wish I could do it, but... We got some cool stuff there. Riton Optics. Let me know what questions you have about these brands or products. If there's a specific product you have in mind that you'd like some information on. We're seeing a lot of this uh, Stand One Armory ammunition. I don't know anything about them, but it seems popular here today. And they actually had some in stock up at the clubhouse, which was kind of interesting. Oh, Maxim Defense. Yeah, if you're thinking about coming out to this event Saturday or Sunday, TJ has a request that you smack him on the ass and say, good game. Good game. Yep. Maxim Defense. Oh, they got pretty cool Everything stuff here. Is completely ambidextrous. So even for the right-handed shooters, when we're actually shooting a gun, we get down, it's a lot easier to put it back on safe that way. And if I ever need any chance, go around very We like those little PDWs. We're definitely going to come shoot those. Let us know what questions you have about them. Maxim Defense. Look at that. Cases and cases of ammo. Yeah, not really. It's kind of limited here, folks. Even, even the professionals in the gun industry are having trouble getting ammo, as we have seen. All right. Shaw barrels. I have to assume that the brands... Let's put this back up here. I have to assume that the brands that aren't out here right now are going to set some stuff up later, like Saturday or Sunday, but, but they're not up yet. Tactical Athlete Games. That uh, frankly looks like it would be humbling. Looks like they're going to set up a course. I'm going to assume that they're setting up a course that will involve physical exertion and uh, t-shirts. Oh, got hang up, hung up in the cable there. You said, said t-shirts, uh, I'm in. I think it's going to be like run to here, lift something heavy, and then shoot and see how bad you are when you're worn out. Yeah, there's one of those weighted bags down there, it looks like. All right. Probably me. Yep. All right. Well, I told them they have to, whatever they did, they have to redo it. I suspect she's the one running things. She had that air of I'm in charge about her. Yep. All right, so that's what we have it. This was the firing line portion of the Fire Expo 2021. It was a quick walkthrough. Uh, I think we're going to have to do a follow-up to show you what happens at these other booths where they're not here yet. But certainly for the things you saw, let us know what questions you have. Check out the other video where we walk by all the boots that are up there on the line and uh, let us know what is interesting to you there so we can get you some more direct follow-up. And also if there are any products that you'd like to see a full-blown review on, let us know so we can talk to the brands about setting those up because uh, you know, it always helps when there's a request driving our request when when real people out there would like to get some feedback so they can go purchase something that has a little bit of sway with the brands when they're looking at uh, who do they send product to so we appreciate that thank you for watching please if you haven't give us a thumbs up yet 
what the hell's wrong with you do it or don't i mean you give us a thumbs down to be completely yeah. honest the way the youtube algorithm works we went either way yep. yeah just give us something i think we've earned it good or bad um and you know if i'm not too annoying then consider subscribing to the gear report channel it would certainly make my day and leave us a comment let us know you did it and i will be sure to delegate someone to say thank you to you at some time in the future so that's it for now thanks